guys. It's Barbara with Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it in the description box along with the Etsy link for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot. Um, so check it out. Um, okay, let's get into this. What's the energy for cancer? Okay. So I feel like you may be moving. Um, this is moving towards a commitment. Someone's moving towards a commitment here. Okay, give me all 12 signs starting with Aries. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries. They're trapped in their head about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're waiting for the drama. If you're dealing with a Gemini, it's almost like they're closing out a cycle but needing to see things from a different perspective. They may need to see things from a different perspective to close out the karmic cycle. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Somebody wants to heal or recover a relationship. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're manifesting reconciliation. If you're dealing with a Virgo, ooh. Somebody could be, um, you know, the queen of the high priestess is somebody who has higher esoteric knowledge. And this could be an illusion. This could be a high priestess doing an illusion. So um, somebody who has higher esoteric knowledge. Yeah, I feel like there may be an illusion there. I feel like if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like you're needing to overcome obstacles to rebuild or some, it could go two ways. It could also be somebody blocking a third party. Take it out, resonates with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody's at a crossroads about a tower moment. It's almost like they don't know which direction to flee in. Uh, you know, they're running from it, I feel like. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Aquarius, my brain is foggy. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like in divine timing, you're going to know the harsh truth about a commitment. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're working on a partnership. If you're dealing with an, an Aquarius, so they're reconciling with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're looking back at past mistakes with a Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Okay. So you're moving towards a commitment, Cancer. Or if you're masculine, you have a feminine moving towards a commitment. I feel like whatever this person's wish is, they're trapped in their head. And I feel like it's about strong emotions, about having equal give and take. So this person's wanting to, uh, it's like that's, that's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You, they want to know if this is going to be solid. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. Somebody's in the king of swords mode. This pers person has every I dotted, every t, t crossed. They are very um, truthful, but this person will use your energy against you. Okay, so you're wondering if this person has the strength to fix a broken heart. Moving forward to communicate, mastering their emotions, trapped in their head. 
wanting to be with you. Um, you okay. So you're moving towards a commitment here, cancer, but you're not sure that this person, um, is ready to work on the broken heart, work on the problems, whatever the situation is, um, the, you're still thinking this person's not ready to work on, work out the, the problems that were there. Tell me what else cancer needs to know. So cancer, it's almost like you're traveling there, but there's an argument where somebody's lying. Somebody lied in the argument, and it's almost like you're being left out in the cold. You've got to look at this from a different perspective, but yet you're trapped in your head. Why would this person have me about this relationship? You may be even literally traveling to be in this commitment. This could be at a long, uh, or relocating. Cancer, if this person told you they wanted to recommit with you, but you needed to travel to them to do it, they were lying to you. I almost feel like this person tries to get even with you somehow. Because, you know, here's you traveling, and there's an argument with deception. And then you're left out in the cold, looking at things from a different perspective, still trapped in your head about the relationship. Like, what the fuck just happened? There you are, Cancer. You're back and forth about the truth. You thought this person was being honest with you. You're juggling the truth here. It's almost like you're, you're trying to figure out what really happened. I feel like you packed all your bags and you were moving to a place and you're trying to figure out, is this really going to work? Will we have equal give and take? Will this person be able to work out the, you know, they're broken hearted, but no, I feel like they're trying to get even with you. So will you show up at their door and, and they're like, I never told you to come here. I don't want this relationship. Whatever the case may be. You're juggling the truth here. Like, what the hell just happened? You wanted to be with them in the relationship. This was your wish fulfillment. But I feel like they're lying to you about getting you there. Um, somebody's playing hardball big time. Tell me about cancer. Excuse me. I feel like they were being. I, I almost feel like this was a gift offered in vain, like it was done intentionally to to be sneaky, to be toxic, draining you financially. Um, You thought it was a shiny bow, like this was going to work out, everything was going to be good, but then this person deceived you. This person is um, pretty negative, pretty negative. I, I was thinking something else. I didn't want to say it out loud. You're in, you're in a king of cups mode, cancer. Even if you're a female, you're in this mastering your emotions because you're keeping it to yourself, right? You're not saying anything. You're feeling like you need to recover and master your emotions about this betrayal. You don't know what to think. You don't have any idea what to think about what this person just pulled on you. It's time for you to move on from this. You have the strength to move on. You will find yourself another commitment. You've made that decision. Um, I feel like this person was ruthless in their attempts to get even with you somehow.
Now, I don't know if there was somebody from the past that you may have been back and forth with. But you see that from a different perspective as well. Whatever this person did to you was wrong. You know, if they're, they're trying to get even and um, they're purposely trying to hurt you in this. And you're trying to just figure out what the hell just happened. You're moving on. You have the strength to move on. And you've made a decision to, um, there's a, you, may, you may have had a choice between two in a commitment. And maybe this is that person from the past that you were back and forth with. So I feel like makeup and breakup, I feel like this person did you dirty. And so they think that you're going to fall apart, but actually you're going to, uh, you're going to go towards the other person. Now, there you go. But this person went out of their way to, to cause harm. So that's pretty evil. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay blessed. Thank you.